In this video, I'm going to talk about the pound US dollar four hour swing trading strategy. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so this strategy is to be used on pound US dollar only, and it's a four hour swing trading strategy. Strategy, excuse me. Let's run through the rules. Okay, first of all, let me show you what I've got on my chart. I have three exponential moving averages, and they are, oops, that's not the exponential moving average. I have three. I have a 50 period, which in this case is yellow. I have a 14 period, which in this case is red. And I have a shorter period, which is a four period. In this case is that cyan um, color. I also have on my chart a stochastics. Now the settings on this are a little bit different. 13 for my percent K, 5 and my smoothing is at 5. So regular stochastics on TradingView, whatever your platform is. I've got a pound US dollar chart. It's only really, well, the research that I've done, the, the uh, inventor or the or the, uh, the inventor, is that the right word for a trading strategy? I don't know. The creator of the strategy uh, suggests that it's pound US dollar only. But, you know, maybe you can use it on something more volatile. The point is, it's one, you need one that has got some movement. So, Euro US dollar tends to be a little bit quieter than the cable, so that's probably why it's not been chosen. Anyway, back to the rules. So first of all, the stochastics act as an initial filter. So you go to a daily time frame and you have to use these as a filter. You have to see that your percent %K, which in this case is the blue line, is below the percent %D for shorts or above it for long. So in this example here, we would only be looking for shorts in this area on our four hour time frame. In this example here, we'd only be looking for longs. You get the idea. It's an initial pre-filter so that you're not going against the broader trend on the daily chart. Once you've got that, you don't need your stochastics. You can drop yourself to a four hourly and get rid of your stochastics altogether. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of them for confusion and then just gonna pull them down here a little bit. Great thing you can do on TradingView actually. Okay, so the next premise of the trade is this you say to yourself okay my stochastics are pointing down on the daily i can take shorts now assuming that all is matching up we take our shortest time period moving average or our fastest moving average which we had on here da, da, da. remind you guys is a four when the four crosses the 50 so that's the blue crossing the yellow and then the 14 crosses as well we go short okay we go short and we have a strict criteria <clears throat> excuse me the stop loss is 50 pips all right and the target is 150 pips now as with all these things guys it's a case of you can adjust it to suit your strategy um, there will be nothing worse than seeing this going 140 pips in your favor and coming back so you you know, this is a framework to build off. The idea is you're looking for the big moves. You're aligning yourself with the bigger trend, the moving average crossover, the quick, the fast one, the medium crosses over, you're in. So in this example, you're in here at 11304. Um, and do you get 100 pips on it? Yeah, you get 100. Do you get 150 pips? Yes, you get 150 pips. Easily get 150 pips on that. Nice trade. Okay, assuming then that the, your stochastics filters allowing you to go in again, do you take a trade? You're probably in here as a 50 pip stop. I wonder if you've been stopped out. You might just have got away with that without looking at it too deeply. You're still got your medium term moving average um, hasn't crossed over the 50 period, so you're still in. Your short has because don't forget a four is a very very you know it's very much like price pretty much. You're just smoothing out. The highs and lows of price it's pretty much going to follow price uh, most of the time so then you're looking for 150 pips and do you get it yes you do get it so it's a nice strategy this it's a good swing trading strategy let's look at one more for you uh here we go we've got a crossover here of this of the uh four crossing the 50 then we get the the confirmation crossover here we're short at this point in time we've got a 50 pip stop i think we're still good are we let's have a look we might have been stopped out on that um, close enough, depending on thing is, you know, I'm not one of these guys are going to say and go, yeah, it's definitely, it. you know, it's five pips in. It's going to depend how you got into it. If you're taking it immediately on the crossover, maybe you got in a better price. If you waited for the close, you may have got a better price, a worse price. You've got to, this is kind of how you make 
a strategy your own. You tweak the little things with it. You've got the premise here, you've got the foundations, and, and you go with it. Otherwise, the point is this gets you on the end of a good trend. Yes, you may be stopped out just about on 50. You may not, depending how you got in. But the point is you're getting on the end of a trend. That's the idea of this. The idea is, hey, align myself with the higher time frame, the daily. Make sure my stochastics are, 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 are trading up or, or, or pushing down. And then I move to my four hourly. Use that moving average crossover to get to the trade. So I've got my stochastics, got a moving average crossover filter. Done, done, done. Now it's up to you. You know, do you go in just on the cross straight away at market? You could do that. Very systematic. 50 pips stop, 150 pips target. Or you could say, hey, you know what? I want to wait for this specific criteria. Then I'm going to put a stop above the high or above the moving average. I need to, I'm going to come out. If we've got a close above, let's clear off some of this junk so we can see what's going on. I'm perhaps only going to come off if we close, you know, above that 50 period exponential. Um, or I'm going to, you know, hold it now until we, we close um, above the, the medium term moving average, uh, whatever it may be. What are we what have we got on here again? Remind myself. Fourteen, you know, fourteen. Do we do we hold it then until we get a close above the fourteen? You know, you can play around with it. This is the beauty of trading. You can take something that's fundamentally sound and then add little tweaks to it and adjust it. And also for market conditions as well. 50 pips might not be feasible or it might be nothing it might be noise when we're really kicking off so anyway guys that's a, a little decent strategy i think it's worth investigating comments below let me know your thoughts um about this one and as always good train take care i'll see you in the next video Bye bye